game on the laptops it's pretty much possible that you've encountered overheating yep, that's a common phenomenon in most laptops it doesn't matter if you have a Lenovo Y50 or the expensive Asus Republic of Gaming Rogue series or even the mid-range HP AB032TX or similar i5 processor laptops all of those immaterial of what build or what brand overheat when you're gaming and especially when you're running AAA titles or extremely graphically intensive games like The Witcher 3, uh, GTA 5, etc. Even on low settings, they're definitely going to overheat. And in this installment of the video, we'll be discussing why your laptops overheat. Uh, it'll be kind of a um, explanation kind of a video, I'd say. So please hang on. It's going to be very short, but pretty concise and explanatory video. So let's begin. Consider that to be your CPU and the other one over there to be your GPU and we probably have a cooling system which is liquid cooling going on over there and now you have to keep in mind that these are laptops in a very constricted space so your CPUs are, and GPUs are actually crammed into very tight spaces utilizing the same heat sink instead of two distinct heat sinks except if you're on those uh, expensive Sega or MSI laptops which actually make use of distinct heat sinks so this video is most probably for those who have a mid-range to high-range laptops, probably uh, within the $1,000 or $1,500 range where you don't have distinct heat sinks. So yeah, you have the CPU, your GPU, a common heat sink which is liquid cooled. So it goes on like this. Your CPUs are probably on high performance mode because let's face it, we're gamers. We want the absolute beast of performance. So let's say your CPU is running at 3 GHz clock rate. And when it's going on maximum, it'll probably hit the ceiling temperature of 90 to 95 degrees Celsius. Or at the baseline, it'll surely be more than 85 degrees Celsius. So your liquid starts from the starting point. It goes as a liquid, cools your CPU, your GPU, and it vaporizes and falls back into the chamber, condenses, and the whole process begins again. And now keep in mind, this is not the exact representation of all the laptops. It's just a kind of a vague theoretical way of explaining things. Now let's go over that again. Your CPU is running at 3 GHz and it's an i5, just for example. And your GPU is running at close to 90% load. And your GPU has a temperature of 65 degrees Celsius. While your CPU, which is turboing up to 3 GHz, reaches the ceiling at 90 degrees Celsius. Your liquid starts from the beginning, it goes over to the CPU, it absorbs the heat and your liquid is pretty hot right now, up at least 80 degrees Celsius I'd say, that's just an approximation and then it goes to the GPU. And here's the catch, your GPU is just 65 degrees Celsius and the liquid is 80 degrees Celsius. So what would happen is the heat would probably go from the liquid to the GPU. So uh, this is not the exact thing that happens, but it's, it's just a possible way of happening. And I'll be quantifying this on my next video where I'll be providing you guys with a fixed run most of the games under the 75 degrees Celsius mark. And I'll be using The Witcher 3 for benchmarking. So please don't miss out on that. Stay subscribed to watch that video as well. Moving on. So yeah, liquid actually acts like in a detrimental way to the actual performance. The cooling liquid is not going to cool the GPU. Instead, it's either going to leave the GPU at the same temperature or it's going to add the heat because it's at a higher temperature. So temperature flow from a higher region to a lower region. So let's go on with the process. So this keeps repeating. What happens is that when your CPU temperature rises, it heats the liquid and your GPU temperature rises. So the fix would be lowering the CPU's temperature, thereby lowering the cooling agent's temperature and thereby lowering the GPU's temperature and keeping the overall unit under optimum temperature. So there we go guys, this is probably the reason why your laptop overheats. And you might be asking me, okay Abhishek, so uh, you're asking me not to run my CPU on high performance mode? Well the answer is yes and no, because most of the games don't use your CPU, instead they rely only on your GPU. So all those additional performance is going to waste. And I will be quantifying this in the aforementioned video. So please stay subscribed, don't miss that video. It's going to give you a lot of information and a lot of insights as to how your CPU and your GPUs perform. You might actually be surprised. A lot of things you might not know and you might, I don't know, come across things on those videos. So uh, yeah, definitely stay subscribed. So moving on. 
There are a lot of games which do utilize the CPU like the Metro Last Light which is a CPU hungry title as well as the Arma. Except for in those titles which are extremely CPU intensive, you won't be seeing the difference in frame rates as such for titles which are actually very very GPU intensive. So that's pretty much it about this video, hope you guys liked it and if you did give us a like, if you didn't give us a dislike and let us know in the comment section why you disliked it. And as always stay classy, take care, this is Abhishek signing off and until the next video, bye.